Well, that's a very important question. It really goes to the heart of, uh, of what is at stake in this election, and, and for that matter, in our country. Uh, if we continue along the current path with the current political parties and the current policies that they're uh, of austerity that they're implementing, uh, your generation is going to uh, uh, be a lost generation because there are no jobs for young people with these governments. Education tuition is going to rise 30% with the Conservative government. Uh, with the Liberals, we're going to have um, uh, very few social programs left, much will be privatized. The NDP is uncertain what they will do. And I think for youth, the youth have a right to expect a government that is going to protect their interests, uh, whether it's uh, to, to be able to, uh, to get an education, uh, to have a home and to be able to raise a family, whether it's to uh, be guaranteed that, that uh, governments, the governments they elect will fight for a world, a world at peace uh, and a, a, a world that is um, uh, safe from environmental degradation, that will, will uh, make the kinds of policy decisions that will put people and nature ahead of corporate profits and uh, profiteering. Uh, I think these are the kinds of, uh, of issues that are, are really on the table in this election. Which direction uh, are, is Ontario going to move in? The young people have a very clear um, interest in this election because the future belongs to them and it belongs to you. <laughs> and uh, the, the parties that are elected today are going to be determining what kind of a future you, you will have or you won't have. So I think that uh, if you vote for the Communist Party, you're voting for uh, a future in which people, people are more important than profits. People are people uh, trump profits. And uh, having said that, I also want to tell you that uh, voting is not enough. And I'm sure that many of you already know that. If you look at what the students in Quebec did two years ago, fighting for their education, fighting for the democratic rights of of, uh, of all the people in Quebec and all youth in Canada to, uh, to, who have a right to an education, you'll see that um, they were able to overturn a government and overturn a policy. And so voting is one way to change directions, but also it requires young people and, and all those who care for democracy to get involved, not only during elections, but between elections as well. Um, a better world is possible, another world is possible, but we're all going to have to fight for it. And uh, I have great confidence in the young people of this country and of this province that they will do that and that they will change the world and it will be a better place. Thank you.